Oh, looky there. What's going on, everybody? James here, recaptionagency.com. 21 years selling on eBay. Surprise Saturday video, right? Surprise! <laughs> Where do I start? Um, well, how did I get to making a Saturday video? Well, let me tell you. I can't get into my eBay account. Or I can't see my eBay items, I should say, that I have listed. <laughs> so I'll start from this morning and then I'll backtrack and we'll go through everything just so I can get out my frustrations as I did on the eBay representative. And I told him, I know this ain't against you and I'm not yelling. I'm just get. thank you for letting me vent. Um, that's what this is. Okay. So wake up, get on eBay. I've sold one item in 11 hours. One item. Now, if you're new to my channel, I got almost 37,000 listings. <laughs> when eBay's working properly, like it did Monday, I can sell 75 items in one day. I could sell. During COVID, I was selling 100 items in a day in 2021 before the fall updates. So I, I'm like, man. So then what I did is I checked web interpreters to see uh, if any more of my listings cross-listed onto the global eBay sites, and none have. Now, the thing with web interprets is they pull from the eBay site, US site, and then put up on the others. And it's usually almost instantaneous. It's pretty quick. When I listed, uh, I didn't list yesterday because of issue, all the server, you know, the issues going on. But uh, the day before that, um, I would list, you know, 150, 250 items a day, not counting yesterday. When I listed, it would automatically go to the other sites. So it was like, you know, the new stuff was doing what it's supposed to, but it, they, they're not being able to pull from my other stuff. And the person at Web Interpreters, the woman I spoke with, said, yeah, we have to deal with a lot of eBay server issues and stuff. And I had sent in a ticket saying, hey, stuff's not working so that maybe they can get working on it on their end if they can, if they have any more pull than I do. Um, so I'm like, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start ending my items today. I'm just going to sell similar. I'll just do it on my whole damn store. I don't care. Um, if it's going to refresh them and put them on the, you know, the web interprets quicker, then I'll do that. So I'm like, well, I'm going to test it first to see, make sure there are no server issues. Because before when I tried to end and sell similar, it would lose several of my items. So I did like seven items and it worked. I'm like, okay. Uh, went to click back in and can't get to my items now. Uh, you see all the top, if you look in the, the community posts, I put a screenshot of one of the pages, but you can see the eBay header and all that stuff, but then all my items below it, white page with black lines. Um, so I got frustrated. I'm like, well, I can't even do that. So I called into eBay, started going through it uh, with the representative, and as I'm talking to her after a little bit, the phone line does that eBay drop where you hear something there and it kind of goes in and out. And you know, it's like an eBay drop type of thing. It's happened many a times. So I'm like, ah. Oh. <laughs> so I hang up. I wait about 15 minutes to see if she's going to call me back. She doesn't call me back. Um, so I call to the, and again, and got a gentleman who... <laughs> listened to me and understood my frustrations and et cetera, et cetera. So he said that, you know, as I'm talking to him, he got an email back from the tech team saying they're already on it. And I don't know if that's just a standard email and he was trying to make me feel better. Either way, it didn't matter. Uh, he also sent a complaint up to upper management about the issues. And I told him too, I'm like, look, this is all over the eBay community, YouTube, Facebook, everybody is getting frustrated with this. It's you know, ridiculous at this point. Eight months we've been dealing with these server issues. Eight months. And I keep, I kept reiterating, I feel like eBay is putting me out of business. That's what I feel like. If normally I can do a thousand to twelve hundred dollars a day and I do one item in 11 hours, that's putting somebody out of business. That is, it feels intentional being that the, the, the issues are not being fixed. So at this point, is it intentional? Because they're just letting stuff go? Legally, it might be intentional. 
I don't know. I'm not a legal expert, so I wouldn't know. But, so, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what happened this morning. Um, now I lost my train of thought where I wanted to backtrack to. But I'm going to do a, just some light shipping here. It's Saturday, so uh, just I can't get into my account to do anything. So what you going to do? So I don't know if they're going to, you know, what they're going to. I'll also ask to be, if it's possible, I want on a working server. And I'm like, I don't know if they're playing rotating servers with stores. I don't know what's going on. I want on a working server. I am tired of dealing with this stuff. Yesterday, I bumped my percentage again. I wanted to see if anything would change. Yesterday, I only sold 34 items total. Uh, and most of that was in the evening. I had nine hours of the first 13 hours of my day where no, there was no sales. It was intermittent, but nine hours total. Very frustrating. During the day on a Friday... I am losing my thoughts so easily right now just because it's, it's, it's just a frustrating issue. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? I can't stop the video on check. So yeah, 34 items yesterday. It was frustrating. Where was I going with that? And I was having that that blank page also too yesterday, but but as soon as I clicked back in it, it it, it went away that time. Whereas uh, today I did it five times in a row, six times actually. I even waited about ten minutes, tried again, and it still wouldn't let me in on the sixth time. Um, but my my point, my one thing I keep the new thing in my head is if web interprets can't get to my listings in order to pull them from the server or wherever they're stored or whatever, to put them on international sites. Can customers get to those listings? Even if they can see them online, or can they even see them online across, you know, the world or the United States, even the entire U.S., being that's kind of broken up nowadays. That's my main thing right now is it kind of puts a spotlight on my items that are not being, may not be able to be seen by customers. That's why they're not selling. If web interprets themselves who work with eBay can't even go into my account physically and pull the items out. I'm just I'm just tired of dealing with it. I'm just so fed up. Let me ship a few items. How about that? All right. <laughs> Don't ask me to pronounce this. It's like some German thing. Yes, I might be mostly German, but yeah. Uh, anyway, this CD sold for seven bucks. Headed to Lebanon, Ohio. <sighs> Man. <sighs> Turn on the scale jeans, that would help. Uh, what was let me let me look at my Facebook page and what have you see if like everything I I post everything on Facebook, so if you're not following me on my main Facebook page, that's where you, you'll see everything constantly updated from me. And there's so many of you guys on Facebook who follow me are having the issues also. Oh, where I was going, promote it. I so yesterday morning, I that's where I was going. I pr bumped all my promoted listings up to 20% because I figured if I go from, you know, like, 10 to 20, I should see a huge spike in my numbers. And that's when I had the nine hours of the first 13 hours with nothing or with no sales. And ended only with 34 after bumping my percentage up to 20%. That 
just, that, that, that fact, that statement alone right there tells you there's an issue. And, and I, I'm tired of saying that there's an issue because we all know there's an issue. And I told them too, when I was on the phone with, I mean, I was letting out everything to this gentleman. And I told him, I'm like, look, the person at Web Interprets know about your server issues. She said that they have to battle it daily. All right. I know one of your other representatives told me that there's talk within the company or the backgrounds or wherever they're at about switching to Amazon servers because they're more reliable. You know, not take, you know, Amazon not buying eBay, but just using Amazon servers because they're so there there is talk, there is it is known within the behind the scenes of eBay or the companies that work with eBay that there are server issues. I mean, I laid it all out that I know all this, community knows all this, we are talking about it on YouTube, on Facebook, and we're frustrated. That's when he decided to type up a complaint letter to send up to upper management. Will it do anything? I don't know. I, I'm not expecting anything, honestly. Because if they know about it, it's just, and I told them, I understand PR. I understand stockholders. I understand why you guys are not letting this info out. I'm just tired of it. I can't do it no more. 21, and he's, and every time you call in, I'm like, oh, congratulations. So thankful you're 21 years, et cetera, et cetera. If you really freaking cared, you wouldn't be stifling my sales like this. Anyway, that's where I was going with it, with the 20%. And my number still crashed that day. Beyond frustration. Beyond frustration. Guitar Hero 2 Legends of Rock on the PS3. So for six bucks, headed to Idaho. And I figured if I can't get into my account right now, I'll just take a step back. It is Saturday. I'll just come down, do some pulling, get ahead of it. Uh, save Adrian a little bit of work for this evening. Because he usually does my pooling and shipping on Saturdays for me. And I told him once he's, this eBay issue gets fixed, I'll be able to, you know, he wants to put in more work to when he gets off at work and on weekends to make more money. Because I think he's trying to save up for a house in a couple of years. So, uh... I told him I can't pay him no extra right now because of the eBay issues. I'm like, if you throw in the help, once, if this stuff gets situated or we get out of summer and it picks up in fourth quarter, I can start paying you more then. But I can't right now. I just can't. If every day was like Monday, you'd be back on the payroll full blast immediately. So I only pay him, you know, that little bit that I've put him down to when he started his job, but... So he's helping out a little bit more, but not getting paid for it right now. So, But hey, we buy his lunch every day. He's 25, what, 25, 26 years old. We buy his lunch every day and still pay for his car insurance and stuff like that. So he's, and he still lives here for free. So he's not getting off Scott Easy. So he should put in a little work and not be, <laughs> not be compensated for it because he's getting compensated in other ways. So don't feel sorry for him. <laughs> Feel sorry for me that I've got a 25 and a 30 year old still here and we're still paying their car insurance. How? Oh, why am I getting screwed in that situation? All right. Uh, nah, it don't matter. It don't bother me. I don't mind having family around as long as they want to be around. So, Exalted Expressions of Live Worship cassette. Sold for 10 bucks, headed to Am Anaheim, California. Plus, they still do chores and do all the running and errands for the food and grocery shopping, mostly, and stuff like that. So, they do the dishes, taking out the trash. Uh, probably, they've taken over most of the laundry duties now, which is good. That's taken off my back. I still do some. Jan still does some. And I still do all the vacuum. Well, 90% of the vacuuming. I enjoy vacuuming though. It's kind of like my, I do it about nine o'clock at night after I'm done working. I'll vacuum the whole house, vacuum the rugs. It's kind of my winding down, not thinking about it. Plus I enjoy, we've got the Dyson, one of the Dysons. We always have Dysons, but one of the newer Dysons has the light on the bottom. 
so you can really see all the hairs on the floor and with Vern you know he's got a lot of hairs so it's almost cool doing it because it's like a video game can I get all the hairs out <laughs> so I enjoy the vacuum Steely Dan greatest hits on cassette sold for eight bucks had to the Seattle Washington um, I'm still not going to do sales. After Monday's, seeing what happened Monday, there's no point in me running sales on my items. It's just not. Because I know my stuff will sell when it is seen. So there's no point in selling it for less. Problem right now is just getting it seen. I actually turned off my Facebook ads also. Uh, I was paying 300 a month for Facebook ads. And I would get a lot of responses on it, a lot of, it got a lot of interactions. Got a lot of people liking my eBay page, business page, and what have you. The problem with it is, I don't think it really made a difference because my external site views, they didn't change. So I don't know if that, you would think that somebody clicking an ad on Facebook for my eBay store when they go into my eBay account, it would show up in the traffic performance as external site views, you would think, but those numbers have not changed at all since I turned it off. So either it wasn't working or it wasn't counted for. I don't know. Is external views only counted if it's coming from Google? I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure exactly. So. All right, rules. This is one of my Hastings CDs. Just put it up yesterday or the day before. Not yesterday, but a couple days ago, I guess. Urban Infanery. See, it's another one of those words I know that I, for some reason my brain just will not... <sighs> I hate my brain sometimes. I really do. Rules and regulations CD sold for 10 bucks headed to Canyon County, California. Infantry. Good Lord. What? I hate when that happens. It's just like a brain fart. <laughs> uh, frustrating. That's all right. That kind of stuff happens so much, I'm starting to fear getting older. Or my brain getting older, I should say. Infantry, James. Infantry. All right, this CD, I got an email from the person buying it. And John Boatner plays the piano, the Peabody Memphis. Um, had it up for 30 bucks. He sent me an email and an offer for five bucks saying it was his father and his father just passed and he can't find the CD and he wanted it to, I guess, to play at the funeral. And he sent me a link to, you know, to show that he's not making the story up. I went ahead and sent him a counter off at 10 bucks. I had it up for 30. I couldn't let it go for five, right? Am I wrong? So I said 10 bucks and it's headed down to Memphis and this is his son of the same name. So I need to clean that up. Don't need to resurface, but I gotta get those smear marks off of there. So you can just put it straight away, straight in the player and play it. I'm not going to ship everything here, but I'll show you everything. Uh, Beatles. CD sold for six bucks, headed to California. Chino Hills, California. Let me see what's.
Oh my god, it's so pathetic. Like between eight and eight. So the 12 hours overnight. And this ain't just sold, this is what paid. So it everything within the 12 hours is not what actually sells, it's what's paid. Because a lot of these it just says the payments for, which means they've sold prior. Like the Guitar Hero, a hat you'll see, a couple of hats you'll see. They sold prior to this 12 hour, but they were paid. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine items in 12 hours overnight paid for, but only three sold. And then the last 11 hours at like 9 a.m. or whenever it was, or maybe 8.30, somewhere in there, only one in 11 hours. So I'm going to erase everything except what has sold since 8 a.m., since I called in. Since I called in, I had two in the 8 o'clock hour, one in the 9 o'clock hour, and two thus far in the 10 o'clock hour. And two of those were payments from a couple of days ago of an item selling. So technically only three items sold, it looks like, in the past two hours. Do 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 Another one of my Hastings CDs. LL. Little LL for ya. Hello, Cool J Headsprung. Sealed single. Headed to Athens, Georgia. Sold for $15. Little Scrappy. Little Scrappy. Another Hastings CD. That's three Hastings CDs so far. Scrappy, Bread to Die, Born to Live, CD Sealed, uh, headed to Nevada, sold for 10 bucks. If you're new to my videos, all those items are plus the shipping amount. I don't give the shipping amount because I can't see the total amount conveniently. Try first class first. Nope. Not to Nevada anyway. Alright, I'm just going to give you prices. Go back up and see if I can do any work yet today. How about that? So let's see what we got here. Now I'll be able to give you... All the items from this point forward will be including shipping. I picked up a bunch of these at the Honey Hole for 2 and $3 a piece. They price them depending on the size. So this was probably like a $3 one since it's bigger. But a bunch of different desktop calculators. I've sold maybe four or five. Uh, with shipping, this one sold for $38. Next up, we've got a Quest hat sold for $13. Cassette sold for, with shipping, $25.19. We got some Cole Haan women's pumps here. With shipping, sold for $21.50. Next up, we've got a Ford baseball cap with shipping, sold for $19.84. That was a damn good year. Oh. 
Next up, we've got a infant Nike baseball cap with shipping sold for $12.85. Timberland baseball cap with shipping sold for $11.50. North American Hunter hat. Been in the store about two and a half years. Uh, sold with shipping for $21.23. We got a soccer shirt with tags. Uh, with shipping sold for $28.33. We've got like a engineer style hat, pink and white. With shipping sold for $16.84. Baltimore Orioles hat. With shipping sold for $16.51. Rocky Mountain National Park trucker hat. With shipping sold for $19.25. Picked this at the, up at the Honey Hole. It's been a minute. I don't remember what I paid for it. Probably like five bucks or so. Uh, new sealed USS Missouri. Uh, with shipping sold for $53.44. Next up we got, are you ready for a hat lot? Yeah. We got two hats sold for $25.85. And we've got mar 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 marmural stones. And a construction cap. Next up, we got Saddle Club. A cool little trucker hat there. With shipping, it's sold for $33.73. Rise Against Women's T-shirt. With shipping, sold for $14.85. I forgot to pull that Cardinals hat. Cardinals had it sold with shipping eleven thirty four. Just put this up the other day. Knights of Columbus vintage trucker hat with shipping sold for twenty six eighty nine. We got another infant hat, Tommy Hilfiger this time, uh, with shipping sold for eighteen eighty four. We got a Loretta Land eight track. With shipping sold for ten forty six. Uh, this is a local thing when the Rams were in town. Got to go to work. A little theme song that Smash was like. I think he was a DJ. He was a DJ on one of the. He may still be. I don't know. On one of the local radio stations. But uh, with shipping sold for thirteen eighty four. Uh, a Corona hat, I guess. Just sold with shipping fourteen eighty five, and then we got this Huck hat with shipping sold for eleven forty nine. So that's it for this video. Thanks for uh, letting me get out my frustrations, getting you updated on what the heck's going on, and then I'm sure the next video I'll let you know what has happened prior from Saturday morning on. Uh, hopefully something positive, but. I'm not expecting it. I'm expecting the same old, same old, because that's all we're get, been getting for the last eight months. So we'll see. But thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. So I can't reach the button. It's right there. All right. <laughs> oh, 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 a button. You want me to push the button? <laughs> okay. <laughs>